How's it going everybody? Jason here. Uh, this video I'm going to make a fish tank. Uh, I have had a few fish tanks in my life, pretty knowledgeable about it. Uh, I've kept a lot of cichlids. I don't know um, how to make one. I've never made one. I've done a lot of research on it in the last few days or in the last couple weeks. And uh, so I'm going to attempt to make one. And I wanted to make one out of plexiglass, which this is a plexiglass. Um, it's uh, supposed to be stronger, more flexible, and uh, just easier to work with. And you know if you drop or break it, you're not going to shatter glass all over. Uh, I was contemplating glass. I could have got it here cheaper locally. But I just never worked with glass before, cutting it and all that. I didn't want to slice myself open. And getting glass with clean edges costs twice as much, and I'm not sure how to clean up glass edges. So I decided to go with acrylic because it's a little bit easier to work with. Uh, these are all square foot pieces. See my hand? Um, 12 by 12 by just about a quarter inch. I think it's like .223. Um, if anyone, right off the bat, I'll tell you, if anybody's wondering where to get them, I got these off of Amazon from a company. I don't know if you can read this or not. Anyway, sorry. I guess you can't read that. A uh, company was Wind Rider Creation. Uh, <clears throat> off of Amazon and honestly I don't know if I'd order through these guys again the box was kind of torn up the plexiglass seemed to be in good shape there are a few scratches on every single piece they are very minor I, I don't think it'll really matter also it's, I don't know anything about plexiglass but apparently the blade they use to cut these I'll try to zoom in all right okay there we go you can see on the corner these chips on it these run along the edges on all of them and they're only on one side for or like on this side but you can see these chips they're not too big but I'm pretty sure that's from the blade um, other than that they were in pretty good shape I mean the edges are nice and clean um, I don't know I don't know if I would buy from them again but for this being my first time, uh, it, it only I think it was about thirty-seven, thirty-eight dollars uh, for all eight of them. You get an eight pack of these, so it wasn't a bad deal. And for what I'm going to do, it'll work. I'm basically going to make a square foot cube. Um, all the pieces are pre-cut. The only thing I have to do is just cut a half inch off of one of them. I'll grind that off, and then uh, smooth out all the edges, and then I can glue them together so, or use silicon. So. Overall, I'm happy with these. They will work for what I have to do, but they, I mean, I would say they're probably in about 95% good condition. And they are all slightly bowed, just slightly. Um, that's That'll be another factor when I silicon them together. I'm going to have to use some type of tape to really, to, to bend them straight. So, here we go. Let's get into it. No more boring talk. Um, I am going to take a vibrating sander a handheld vibrator sander and start cleaning up the edges see if I can get them as clean as smooth as I can and then I'm going to use a torch a little propane torch that they say you can use you run over the edge and it's supposed to clear them up real nice so we'll go ahead and try that So I gave up on the sanding real quick. That was it was smoothing the edges, but that was going to take way too long. I went ahead and tested the, the propane torch for the edges. I'll try to get a close up later before I glue this together. You can kind of see how shiny this is. Now it's a little bit uneven. I might go over it one more time, but you can see that side as opposed to this side with which there's no glare because this is all frosty. And then, so, propane torch worked pretty good. And it also kind of rolled the edges nice, the corners right here, so they're not sharp. So, I'm just going to take the torch to all the edges, and um, instead of just sanding it, it'll, it'll be good enough for what I need it to do.
All right, I'm done torching the edges, and they came out pretty cool. Um, I like it. You can kind of see the cut marks from the blade they used, but it's a lot more glassy or more clear. So I'm pretty happy with that. So all I have to do now, I've got to grind a half inch off of one of these, all the way over here, a half inch. And, uh, and then I can glue it all together. Well, i got to grind it off and then I have to torch the edge one more time. But after that, all four pieces, all six pieces, will be of exact measurement and I just got to silicone them together. Alright, so I got the I ground off about a half inch. It's actually these aren't actually a quarter inch uh, when I measured it carefully. They're almost three sixteenths, a little bit over. Uh, so it was almost a half inch. I just measured the thickness of two of these and I put that uh, painter's tape and ground it off. And then I torched the end. I'm gonna do a lot. Uh, so it's ready to be silicon, but I'm gonna do a little mock build up first to see how it works. Okay, here's the mock-up, and I'm happy with it. The measurements are good. Uh, the edges I'm very happy with. Uh, the only problem is all the pieces are slightly bowed, so that's definitely going to be a challenge. I'm going to have to put a bunch of pieces of tape squeezing, like squeezing the uh, edges together. I don't have a bunch of clamps. So, I'm going to have to plan this out very carefully so that it gets glued silicon together correctly. But that's it, square foot cube. And that's going to be perfect for my one convict. Oh, and I'm also going to be making a custom filter, which I'll probably go ahead and maybe start that right now. Because I want to silicon everything at one time. But there you go. I think that's pretty cool. Alright guys, so I wanted to show you the other thing I'm going to do. I'm gonna make myself a custom filter uh, for the inside of the tank. And this is a, a wood decoration piece. You get a PetSmart. And I bought this just because I thought my little convict would like to hide in it. Little did I know this would come out perfect for what I wanted. Um, what I'm gonna do, this is a bubble thing for kids. You blow bubbles, got them at Walmart for a buck. And I'm going to empty this out, clean it out, I'm going to cut it so that I just have a tube because plexiglass tube is hard to find. I can order it online but it's expensive. This I got for a dollar, it's plastic. And I'm going to silicone it, silicone it to this wood. I got to kind of cut it and shape it a little bit. But it's going to be a tube sticking out, it's going to be an air filter. I'm going to have the air tube going down. The bubbles are going to come up, it's going to draw the water through all the holes and I'm just going to stuff a bag with carbon filter carbon inside the wood and that's going to be the filter so it'll sit in the tank i'm going to have it right in the middle like that and that'll be it that's going to be my intake in tank filter and well we'll see how that one turns out <laughs> but so i'm going to go ahead and clean this out and cut it and prep this for getting silicon too
All right, well, here we go. The tube is done. I cut it on both ends and sanded it, washed it. Not bad for 97 cents at Walmart. And that's going to be my filter. I'm just gonna silicone that to the top of that fake piece of wood and seal it up real good and have the bubbler. I am gonna to have to trim the top one more time. The water is gonna be probably an inch below and I kind of want this probably about a half inch below the water, uh, the surface of the water. So I'm still gonna to have to trim the top, but that's gonna work. That's gonna be pretty cool. Now I gotta go get some silicone, I'm trying to find that GE1, uh, the GE Type 1 window and door. Can't seem to find it around here, so I'm gonna have to take a trip to a couple of stores to see if I can find it. But uh, overall, this is, it's all coming according to plan. So next step is uh, silicon everything. All right, guys. So there's been a couple change in plans here. Um, I found out that you cannot use silicone with acrylic. I guess you can. I guess it doesn't work that good. So I got some acrylic cement, uh, side grip. I got it from an acrylic warehouse factory store. Uh, it's the consistency of like airplane glue. Uh, the plastic cement you get with models. So I'm gonna use this. And then I got some aquarium silicone anyway for the filter. Uh, because I do need to silicone this and there's actually a change on this too. I'm going to have the tube Go in this top one. This will be a much better snug fit and so it'll be like that uh, So next time we're gonna glue all this up All right, here's my here's the filter. I'm sorry. I didn't finish it Or I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't film it. Um, it was late last night, and I just wanted to get it done I didn't have time to do the tank you can kind of see the silicone on it. Let's see if I can get somewhere you can see a little better. Uh, not a bad seal job. Um, I don't think the silicone is going to stick very well. I mean, it's it's holding, but I'm not sure how well the silicone is going to stick to this and the plastic. But um, it's been well over 12 hours. I'm going to put this. I've already had it sitting outside in the sun to help this cure faster. And, uh, but yeah, I like it. Um, I think that's going to work. And that'll be stuff all the, the, the media inside. And it'll suck out from the top. It is all cemented together and holding with tape and I'm going to let this sit for a couple of days, probably two full days just to make sure it's cured, fill it up with water and see how it works. Uh, this did not really come out as good as I hoped. Let's see if I can, you can see the edges, you can see it back there, it's a little blurry. Um, well, however, I have not done this before, so yeah, you can kind of see the cement. I think I think this has a lot to do with the edges not being finished. Uh, the cement seeped in through all the little cracks, which you can't see until you glue it together. Uh, but as long as it works and it holds water, I'll be happy. Uh, I don't really mind the seams looking too ugly as long as it actually works. And maybe when it's full of water, it'll maybe some of that will disappear. Let's see, I'm trying to see if I can get in there. But, yep, it's all together. Uh, well, I'm gonna wait a couple days, come back, and we'll fill it with water.
together. Uh, about to get the filter in there. And uh, a couple of things I bought. Some of this Aqua Biomax Aqua Clear. We use these are ceramic. Some cut some type of stone media and uh, basically some reg regular foam uh, filter for particles. And I'm gonna stuff those inside the filter. I already got some of this set up. The water's a little cloudy right now. I mixed it with the uh, some of the old water to kind of help balance it out, but I'm gonna get this going as soon as I can. Now you can see the media of the filters in there. And I'm just gonna stick that in the tank and I'll come back.